Hey Libra, what's up? Welcome to your February reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your love and your support. I appreciate you. We're going to take a look and see what messages need to come through for you for the month of February. See what you need to look out for, what you can expect, what's coming towards you, or anything else that you need to be aware of. If this reading was helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info's in the description box down below. And yeah, let's get into this, Libra. Let's see what's going on for you in February 2024. Show me clearly, Spirit, what is going on for Libra? We have the otter coming out. <laughs> it's going to be a beautiful month for you. Otter is the happiest card in the Animal Spirit deck. I have a good feeling about this. I don't know. Tiger at the bottom, intuitive hunch. I got a good feeling about this. I got a feeling. It's like that Black Eyed Pea song. Oh my God. Butterfly and the Cobra. I got a feeling. Woohoo. Yeah, that's that's what's going on. That's what's playing in my mind right now. You got a feeling and it's right and it's beautiful and it's amazing and your life is about to completely transform for the better. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be incredible. I mean, it's great. There are some curves. There are some learning curves. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Cobra. This talks about growing and learning. Some of y'all may be going back to school or there's something about um, like leveling up, expanding, growing your knowledge. There's a bit of this teaching kind of vibe coming through. So this next level of your life is going to teach you a lot about yourself. It's going to teach you a lot about, you know, what makes you happy, what brings you joy, what brings you fulfillment, what do you want moving forwards, what do you want to have more of. This is just amazing. February is going to be a fabulous month for you. We are in Aquarius season, energy of air, so you are in your element this month. Um, it's going to be a great time. You're ready for this. It's, I mean, like, I don't know. I'm kind of speechless. I'm not going to lie. I don't really have much to add to that. Wait, what was at the bottom? Frog, oyster, and the fox. After a long, hard, like, storm, oyster to the... F oh, wow. And stuff with relationships here with the fox. You've gone through some pretty gnarly stuff, Libra, recently, or coming months. Or, like, recent months were just, like, <sighs> thumbs down. But what it's looking like over these next coming months, not even just February, but that is where there is this big ginormous change taking place and you're happy about it and you're welcoming it and you're embracing it and you feel so good. Like it feels like finally it's your time. So let's see, let's get the specifics of what you need to know for February. What kind of changes can be taking place some of you might be relating to a job or a relationship it's something that you love it's something that you love or you're going to love like you're going to love this like all right all right show me clearly what's going on for libra in february what do my libras need to know look out for or be aware of for this month ahead february 2024 what can my libras expect what do they need to know or be aware of what's coming towards Libra in February. What's coming towards Libra in February 2024? Oh, interesting. So we have the full reverse coming out as your first card. We also have the Empress at the bottom. So this is indicating that there's been some sort of delay. And maybe the beginning of February kind of starts off that way. I'm kind of getting it might start off on the wrong foot. Um... <laughs> Okay, so let's just, let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Literally, Spirit says, don't jump, just wait. Don't jump to conclusions. Full reverse. You don't want to jump just yet. When I tell you to jump, jump, but not right now. Hold on a minute. Wait a minute. Hold your horses. Okay, we have the Empress at the bottom, the Eight of Cups. Some of you, there's still something you got to leave behind Eight of Cups, Six of Cups could be relating to something from your past. If you've been waiting around to see if something's going to change or balance itself out, I mean, it looks like there's a possibility, Knight of Pentacles, um, with the world, though. It looks like there's a slow cycle coming to an end. So it's on the way out. There's something that's on the way out. 
and it's connected to your past and it's on it's on the move it's on the go but it's 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 a process and it's kind of slow i can't lie the empress and the eight of cups this is where you're needing to step outside of your comfort zone in february so that you can actually experience some sort of change if you're wanting a change you're wanting to experience life in a new way then you're going to have to do things a little bit differently okay um you may with that full reverse you might not feel the most confident with this leap of faith with this new path with you leaving behind what you know right there's part of you that wants to stay in what's comfortable or with like the safe place or like the easy route the easy option but like there's something inside there's something inside of you that's like kind of saying well if you want to grow if you want to expand you can you just got to take it slow you can't lose if you just take it slow like again watch your footing you don't want to start this off on the wrong foot but if you're wanting to expand you totally can you just got it there's there's just a need for you to like get up and just go like <laughs> okay i mean that's just what i'm seeing here let's keep going though um let's see with the fool that is aries as well as aquarius uranus energy uranus uh it did just go direct um recently so maybe take a look at where Taurus is in your chart if you know your rising sign take a look at where Taurus is that's probably where you're going to experience these shakeups or because that's the planet of the unexpected so yeah with all planets now completely direct no planets are retrograding February is going to be a month brings in some pretty good stuff we have the queen of wands with the five of cups if you're going through a hard time emotionally you should probably do something that brings you pleasure do something that brings you joy queen of wands this is a very fun outgoing kind of extroverted energy not even kind of she's very extroverted this is an energy where you're needing to mingle i feel and you're going to be very much liked and appreciated by other people so i'm really feeling that you may want to you know connect with other people or lean on others for support or just be more open and vulnerable and emotional if, especially if you've been kind of laying low with the high priestess you've been kind of just keeping to yourself or keeping these emotions to yourself i feel like february is a good time for you to connect with other people ten of cups two of cups underneath that there may be some hesitation to do that though none of wands kind of seeing that you're maybe this like protection that you're trying to put so that you don't come across too vulnerable or too mushy or too sensitive but like you're not and the right people that love you are going to adore that and feel even more connected to you this month all right so i'm just saying you want to connect more to other people then you're gonna have to kind of like let down your walls just just a little bit okay um because it does show that five of cups like that there are some like some sadness that you maybe you've been going through or are currently dealing with or maybe kind of throughout february there may be some moments where you're feeling a bit blue that's you know that's okay but you might be dealing with it in private all good but if you if that's not really working or you're kind of stuck in that limbo and you feel like you can't really get out i feel like spirit is saying with the queen of wands and then like we have that ten of cups and all that other stuff and cups coming out it's like spirit really is wanting you to like reach out or like connect or like you know express what you are dealing with what you're going through connection to others connection to people connection to you know someone that you trust so that the queen of wands like you're you're gonna be feeling confident in february you're gonna be feeling empowered uh, you know like motivated you're gonna be feeling really driven um even if there are obstacles even if there are some like little setbacks or delays or maybe change of plans full reverse maybe there's gonna be some sort of change of plan maybe you're gonna have to cancel plans um you know kind of getting the image because i'm looking in the fool in this card uh there's like these buildings i'm kind of what flashed in my mind's eye was kind of like construction zone so you got to drive a much slower right so there may be some things where you're needing to kind of slow down a little bit 
ease off the gas pedal really tap in and tune into how does your body feel how do you feel physically um in these environments in these relationships just in general how are you showing up um how do you feel today like check in with yourself regularly um yeah all right you know connected with animals that kind of stuff this would be a very creative time for you lots of great creative ideas that are flowing the creative juices are flowing for you libra so i would say take advantage of that all right what else is going on for libra in february we have the queen of cups so we got double queen energy out here you could be connecting with another feminine in your life there could be some sisterhood going on here maybe if you're into women just saying maybe you get some action <laughs> this could just definitely be representing you just leaning more into a feminine energy this month or there's just like a lot of feminine people around you or spirits just really wanting you to lean in to this like creation and building and you know what do you want because you can create that you can bring life into that right we got this queen energy representing like renewal and birthing and like whatever you wish to create in february it's all yours like it's whatever you want libra whatever you want you got it it seems like you're very in tune with your emotions your feelings what was at the bottom five of wands damn so you've had two fives now come out five of cups five of wands so you're there's there's just like this inner battle here okay because the queen of cups it's all about your feels all about your emotions so it's showing up that there's something you're feeling in february whether you're feeling this right now or in the next couple of weeks maybe come back to this at the end of february but there's some sort of feeling that you're like going back and forth about internally or like your emotions maybe again it's just fluctuating maybe you're dealing with some conflict maybe you're dealing with a little bit of drama um but it shows that there's a little bit of anxiety here nine of swords five of wands feeling a bit anxious when it comes to feeling these feelings feeling a bit guilty feeling like oh i shouldn't feel this way i got this thing going on i have this that i should be grateful for oh my god other people have it worse than me like blah 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 right but you're in your head you're like oh i shouldn't be feeling this way but you are allowed to have these emotions you're allowed to feel these ways you're allowed like this is just you being authentic this is just you being truthful this is just you being and feeling yourself having a human experience with the star underneath that this is about just like you truthfully showing up as your most authentic self, being completely raw, being completely vulnerable, out in the open, all right? And so if you're feeling this way, you're, yeah, you're, you're definitely feeling vulnerable here. You're definitely feeling vulnerable in this energy. It could be late at night or in the middle of the night. You know, you wake up, maybe you have a bad dream. Maybe, you know, maybe dreams have been just very overwhelming. <sighs> this is happening in Aquarius season, by the way. We have Aquarius energy showing up. So this is where you're kind of experiencing the shift. I wonder as we lean more into Pisces season, if things will be more in flow. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's kind of showing like there's a lot of intense feelings that are being brought up during this time. And it's kind of fluctuating. Kind of fluctuating with the two of pentacles and the moon. Just like a lot of uncertainty. Like, where are you going? What's the next step? What do I want for myself? You know, and then we have the knight of pentacles underneath that. We're just like, take your time, okay? Especially if you're mourning over some sort of loss or ending or something that just didn't work out. Maybe you didn't really see it happen, right? You're planning carefully, tracing your steps, and ten of swords, knight of pentacles. Look at this. He's literally walking into some sort of ending. There could be some sort of slow dragging out ending taking place you're like can this just be over and done with like all right well hopefully by the full moon in virgo the full moon in virgo i think is on the 24th of january perhaps by the full moon in virgo all of this for those that resonate with this message it's not gonna be for everybody but for those that do resonate with the kind of like oh my god can this just hurry up probably by the full moon in virgo um january 24th and second half of january this will be done in the clear behind you once and for all okay so think about it like this you're in the cocoon stage of the butterfly and you are just slowly starting to like hatch <laughs> and it's a little uncomfortable you're shedding that dead skin okay it's a little it's a little gross maybe <laughs> maybe there's some things that are giving you the ick you're like ick gross oh my god cringe but yet you're still finding joy throughout all those kinds of moments. Since this was your first card that came out in your reading, you're still able to appreciate and soak in 
the blessings and the things that are working out for you. You're putting more of your focus on those things and less of your focus on what isn't working out for you. Because <laughs> most of these things that you are like worrying or stressing about are out of your control anyway. So you're just like, you know what? Hands off the freaking wheel. Period. Okay, let's see. What else can you Libra expect in February 2024? Show me clearly what can Libra expect. We have the three of wands along with the ace of pentacles. So you're making a lot of like long-term plans for your future. I definitely see moving. I definitely see travel. I definitely see adventures on the horizon for you. Um, again, it feels like February is kind of a slowish month. And plus, it is leap year, so <laughs> it is a day extra longer than every other year. So February is going to feel a little bit dragged out. For whoever I'm reading for, whoever I'm tapping into for February, you're going to be like, holy shit, this is one long, slow month. Like, time is ticking. But you know what? You got all the time in the world is how it feels. You got all the time in the world. I don't know. I feel like you're very present. Whoever I'm speaking to, like you're, it shows like you're very much in the, like you're, you're in the present slash like near future. Like, let's see, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. See, I'm definitely seeing travel or making plans for traveling. Eight of Wands and the Three of Pentacles for some moving again. That's coming out again. That's for somebody. Um, there's someone that you might be hearing from it could be a family member it could be a friend it could even be in love two of two of cups definitely could be in love but it feels like there's some sort of like exchange being made and it, the, it's mutual you and this person are on the same path you both want or looking for the same thing or your your intentions align like there's alignment here um like there's something being built there's something that is growing stronger i love how we start from that this is at the bottom of the deck, ace of pentacles to then the 10 all right so it, it kind of feels like there could be someone that you're meeting or dealing with in february and they introduce you like they, there's like an exchange going on between y'all and then like door opens and it lead like it takes you almost like to a shortcut like you know on google maps and there's like the little yellow guy that you can just click and drag and you just pick him up and then just drop him in a spot that's like you in February. You're 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 like okay. I'm here. I got a long ways to go. All right, I got this though. Patience is key, and like just stay determined. Blah blah blah. And then boom, here you come along. You come together with somebody, and it's like right place, right time. And then boom, here you go. Whoa, look at that jump. So definitely your connections highlighted here. Your connections are going to be like your saving grace is what they're giving me in February. Like your the connections that are being formed with other people, whether they're new, whether they're current, whether they're old, there are certain connections that are going to help assist you on your journey and get you to where you're needing to be. Yeah, it's 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 I don't know, it's so interesting. It's so interesting. I should look into that two of cups two of um yeah, Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. I should look into that for you. Hmm. I will, but I'm going to put this to the side. I'm going to pull some more. What else? Do you have... Um... Oh, no, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> never mind, Libra. What else is going on for Libra in um, February 2024? What do you guys need to know? What do you need to be aware of? What do you need to be on the lookout for? For Libra in february 2024 what else is going on for libra i don't know that ace of pentacles that ten of pentacles it feels very warm it feels very welcoming but i'll get to that five of cups you know what that five of cups up it fell out on the full reverse can you please give us more info on that wheel of fortune oh my goodness ah emperor at the bottom so we have gemini we also have some earth aries this is relating to some sort of okay so that's that was that slow dragged out kind of ending that i was picking up earlier that that knight of pentacles ten of swords that i do see you putting an end to something okay we have the ten 
of swords, and then underneath that we actually have the ace of swords. So notice we have two tens, two aces, symbolizing change, endings, and new beginnings. There's this whole like renewal process going on. Um, there's something you're finally putting an end to in February. It makes you sad though, like five of cups. This is the five of cups that came out at the very beginning of the reading. It was with the fool reversed. I think, or no, it was with the Queen of Wands or something like that, but we've seen this Five of Cups earlier. And so I didn't know exactly what you were sad about or down in the blue about, down in the dumps about, but now when I was shuffling, it fell on top of the Fool Reverse. So this is about, this is some sort of disappointment that you're feeling, like for some you're feeling rejection or for some you're feeling like you made the wrong choice or lovers to the Three of Swords. Maybe you're put in a, a situation where someone chose someone else over you or like if it was a job like you know maybe you didn't get hired or if it was like you know something it could be something like that if it was a relationship it's like maybe there was someone else like and that's not for everybody okay but it seems like the three of swords like obviously that's pretty painful pretty uncomfortable pretty upsetting obviously that being paired with the lovers that represents like there is some sort of like spiritual union there is like divine timing and even the lovers in general is just like a card that's harmony so it's like even though you're in this pain or like going kind of through some sort of painful lesson like some growing pains right there's some sort of reason behind this and we also had the wheel of fortune so it's like you know this is actually turning the page it makes me think of um i seen you know i see this video a couple times here and there on like instagram or whatever and it's like there's um two different balls like metal balls or whatever the fuck and one of them they're just like the ball just goes straight it just rolls straight and then there's another ball um and it's like ups and downs and ups and like you know what i'm talking maybe you know what i'm talking about but the ball that's going through the ups and the downs takes it much quicker gets much quicker to the end than the ball that goes just completely straight so it's like you may be going through some ups and downs or some highs and lows but it's actually taking you a lot quicker to the good stuff Whereas if you didn't have any of these obstacles, if none of these like challenges came up, it would take you even longer to get there to like your desired outcome. So if you can kind of look at it that way, even though it might be hard, I get it. It makes sense. But I don't know. It's still sh it's showing up like financially wise, stability wise in the material world. You're fine. You're well off. You're stable. You're secure. You got nothing to worry about there. It's more emotional things that you could be dealing with or things going on internally or relationship stuff that could be coming up that's that's kind of creating this this stuff. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so I feel like Spirit is really wanting me to clarify this like Two of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, see what that's about. So I will. Spirit, what deck? Oh, okay. I'm going to use my gold foil for this. Okay. So... It started off the Ace of Pentacles. Let's see what that's about. Time the Ace of Pentacles for Libra in February. What is this offer? What is this new path, new way? Might just flashed. Ace of Pentacles for Libra. Show me clearly. Ooh. Death. This offer, or this new beginning, or this new path, it's going to change your life. It's going to be a big, big game changer. Okay, how? How so, spirit? High Priestess, your intuition is guiding you towards this. We have uh, Pisces energy. We also have Scorpio. I'm feeling like towards the end of February. It could be when this comes in. Maybe, again, it could be around that full moon in Virgo there's some sort of clarity that you're going to be receiving ace of swords underneath that let's see time this ace of pentacles you have the ace of swords show up twice now eight of swords this is something that this is where you're gonna you might get in your head four of cups at the bottom you might get in your head about this offer or this new path or this new beginning it's because it's outside of your comfort zone it's just because you haven't done this before or it's not like the norm or there's something that's making you feel a bit trapped but i feel like it's just your mindset libra four of cups i think it's mostly just because you've gone through a lot of shit you know you're just trying to get back on your feet not feeling the most optimistic it's understandable it makes sense you're just going through some shit <laughs> sometimes it's hard to stay positive or optimistic when life just keeps pushing you down like one wave after another it'd be like that 
but so that that's really like a choice though you know two of wands to the four of cups it's kind of a choice you get to decide how you look at things so those limiting beliefs or those like self-deprecating thoughts that you have where you're just like beating yourself up or talking smack to yourself or being hard on yourself like that all of that's a choice Please show me clearly this Ace of Pentacles, uh, Seven of Pentacles. Like, this is something that you have been working towards for a while or you've been waiting for. Maybe it's relating back to that full reverse, like some sort of delay, opportunity, or something taking a long time to come to fruition, or... Let me see. I think... Oh, wait. Before I do that, Page of Swords at the bottom. There's, like, a new... There's a new way of seeing things. There's also more information coming in or more details. Um... Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. Temperance. I feel, and then we have here we have the page of swords still at the bottom. I feel like Spirit is really wanting you to trust yourself. Alright? That Eight of Swords is kind of indicating like you're kind of doubting yourself, you're in your head, you don't, you know, you've made bad judgments before in the past. What if this is the same situation? You don't want to mess up, you don't want to end up in a situation that's painful or a loss or whatever, right? But I feel like in this case, with this offer, I'm going to clarify that to a cup side. I feel like Spirit is saying like, hey, like Libra, you can trust yourself. You got this. You can trust yourself. Like, you got this. Like, you don't need to worry so much. Okay, tell me about this Two of Cups. Or you can trust this person. If it's a person. Okay, tell me about this Two of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, please. It feels like safety. There's security. I also just heard there's safety in numbers. So maybe, you know, if you're out and about, maybe it's better to be out with a group of people or like more than one not just you maybe that maybe that's important for someone if you've been feeling anxious or whatever about being in a situation where there could be like some harm safety in numbers is what i heard so maybe maybe the more the merrier just saying all right two of cups and the ten of pentacles for libra in february okay so we have the wheel of fortune it actually was a star reverse that came out first then the wheel of fortune so you know you're kind of holding your horses here we're at the star reverse not feeling super overly optimistic about that we kind of knew that we kind of said that i'm repeating myself here so you don't there's like with this offer that's coming in you're you're not putting all your eggs in one basket but the good news is like your faith is being tested but your faith will be restored with the wheel of fortune your faith will be restored right now nine of wands at the bottom you're like i don't want to get my feelings hurt i don't want to set myself up for disappointment queen of swords i am going to analyze i'm going to make sure that this time things are different ace of wands and then underneath that ace of wands we have the ten of swords y'all okay because oh fuck i almost dropped the card because of what you went through recently that that energy is still lingering it's still around it's still kind of like you know there's still some scars there's still some healing taking place and so you have every reason to be in this and that's your energy by the way the queen of swords you have every reason to be in this zone but you know think it's worth your while i think it's worth exploring but you do you you trust yourself um all will be revealed i feel like it should be let's, let's just pull one more try this kind of pentacles and i okay okay i knew it empress yeah four of cups though you may not really believe it you'll believe it when you see it <laughs> okay all right queen of wands showing up again this is actually gonna impress you this this will impress you there's a lot that could come out of this the empress is a really good sign it's really positive um i'm glad to see that this is here it's indicating that this path it is in alignment for you it is meant for you that you can expect good growth a lot of expansion a lot of new opportunities uh, it feels very fresh it feels very clean it feels very open it feels like this is it this is the path this is direction this is this is real okay so again four cups that queen of swords earlier that nine of wands earlier you you might be a little bit unsure about it but i think if you oh my god we have the same cards from earlier the queen of wands with the five of cups from earlier and then we have the two of cups the spirit is really wanting you to connect 
Build on your connections. Two of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Build on your connections and see how your whole life expands, okay? That's what I'm getting in your reading, Libra. Hopefully this helps you. If this doesn't resonate right now, I would recommend coming back to this a few weeks from now. By the end of this February, by the end of February, maybe go back to a January reading and see how it may resonate with you now. Just saying, because timelines, they're always shifting, changing, and everyone's on different journeys. So just saying. Anyways, thank you for your love and your support. I appreciate you. Have a very great day, and I'll talk to you in your next reading next week. Bye.